Growing up, science was one of my favorite subjects in school. I love making slime. It was awesome. But today we're going to look at 40 science experiments that will absolutely blow your mind. I wonder what a million volts looks like. If so, today's your lucky day because you just have that in your house? coil that I built. Did you just say he built? Well, here goes nothing, I guess. He built a Tesla coil? Oh. What? That's scary. I, electric's the one thing I don't get near. It freaks me out. Ready? Oh, that's cool. Woo! But won't the candle go out? So Unless it's a hole in the top of the cup. The which means that it so which means it wouldn't cool. sink. It's cool. I wish it could last like that forever. That would be really cool. You could have an infinite underwater candle design. Bill Nye! My boy Bill Nye is out here. Finally! I was waiting for him, man. I grew up on him. Every day he came up in school, I was so happy. It's the fast moving air that cools it off so fast that it extinguishes. Okay. But try this. Get a plastic water bottle. Cut, Cut it in half. Tail on. Get a plastic. Dang, bag. I forgot about all the sound effects. Usually I hate them, but when Bill Nye does sound effects, I'm like, you know what? There's, it's okay with me. I'm happy with that. Hold your plastic sheet on the back of the bottle with a rubber band. All right. You can compress the air in the bottle so it comes out the nozzle fast enough to extinguish the flame. What? It cools the candle off like that. Three, two, one. It's fun to see what? how far away you can get. No. -uh. It really can shoot that far? What the heck? This would be so annoying if people like candles and just have it at your house just in case you need to annoy someone. I'm pretty sure for a while this was like the most liked video on TikTok. I don't know if it is anymore, but could you imagine doing this in your backyard? I would be so terrified it would destroy my house and I would never be able to sell it. That is insane. And it just makes me, oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Oh my gosh. It just makes me wonder how much bigger can you go with something like this? Like how far can you really push that? This is like the female Bill Nye the Science guy. Here we go. Pour rubbing alcohol into a bottle, put the lid on and give it a swirl. Twist the bottle in the middle and then watch what happens. What? Is it explodes? <laughs> okay. A cloud forms oh. inside. I don't even notice that. A cloud. What the heck? What if you open it? Follow for more science videos. What happens if you breathe that? I'm, I'm very curious. If you breathe that, like, is that going to hurt you in any way? Okay, my boy's out here creating a flame tornado with a bunch of fans. This is ridiculous. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Right, that is cool, insane. Let's see if we can make it green. Wow. What so the good. heck? Man, if we did stuff like this in high school, every single kid would grow up and be a scientist. Dang, where does this dude live? What kind of house? This is fire. Uh-oh. No! This- oh, is he gonna sit on it? Is he trying to launch into the sky? This- Oh! That seems like such a bad idea. Have you ever seen anything as crazy as this before? An aqua laser? There's nothing fake going on here. This effect is actually called the laser liquid sky. For as amazing as this effect is, it's actually really simple. What? It's just a line generating optic in front of a laser. Oh, and some fog from a fog machine. What? This setup lets you visualize all the currents and swirls in the air by taking 2D Whoa. slices. Sticking your hand in the beam also generates some pretty sweet shadows. Whoa, pretty that cool, is so right? cool. Guys, that is like the coolest thing ever. I don't know why, but I feel like I need one of these immediately to have just all across my apartment. That is so cool. What kind of experiment start off squirting ketchup in the lawn? <laughs> what the heck? What? I'm curious what this one does. Does that look at baking soda into a ketchup bottle? This is one I've never seen before. Okay. Does it explode? I don't think so. <laughs> What's it do? Maybe it does explode. I don't know. I'm waiting for an explosion. I would expect that to happen. Is she gonna throw it? Like... Clearly they know what's gonna happen. I have absolutely no idea. Can you to feel it? Don't get it close to your face. Oh my god! <laughs> it sprays out like a cannon? What? You can use CDs to make bubble blower? Wait, hold on. I'm so confused. What is going on here? Rip the disc and take the clear side. What? Is this going to change my childhood? I'm going to go back in time to learn this. Heat it up with a dryer for 15 to 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, he's... Oh! Oh, he's blowing the plastic. Oh, that's cool. Hey everyone, I have a crazy science experiment to show you. Put okay. a paper towel in the bottom of a plastic cup like this. Where'd she this, get a pink solo cup? Take that is it cup, red? Turn it upside down and put okay. it into a tub of water. It's now remember, this plastic cup is filled with air and that air actually blocks water and keeps it from coming into the cup. So when you pull the cup out and you remove the paper towel, 
the paper towel is completely dry. Wow, I feel like if I was a little kid, that would be the most mind-blowing thing ever to find that out. This is gonna be really satisfying, I think. Come on, suck them up, suck them up. There it is. Oh my goodness, look at that. I did this as a kid, except I use slime inside of it, not uh, water and that stuff, I use slime. The demonstration of boric acid and the Oh, that is sick. I wish he had more acid. Look at that. This is the kind of thing that you need to have like for a giant war. You're about to fight someone, put down like a mile long of this and just light it. And you have this green wall up here. I mean, I'm running away. I'm not coming near that. How to make a smoke ring vortex cannon using a cup? What? Stretch a balloon over the cup. Is that really it? Oh, and fill it with smoke from a candle. Wow, that's kind of cool. Guys, if you would think that I should test these in real life, drop a comment down below. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> what? No wrap. It's called a flying octopus? Okay. Cut. How? Fiction. Balloon. <laughs> wow. I like how he explains it. Keeps it really simple. Fiction. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. You show me that as a kid. Actually, you show me that as an adult. My mind's blown. As a kid, I'm going to think you're a wizard. Day two of lifting this car with nothing but eggs. Nah. I think it was kind of obvious on day one that we weren't going to be able to hold up a 2,500 pound what? car with a single egg. And instead, we're going to need a lot more. Balancing the test load on a single egg is rather difficult. So I created another bracket to hold four eggs instead. To prevent a four the egg holder. Absolutely Here we go. On failure, what? I added a couple stoppers to limit the travel. We then started off with two bricks weighing 68 pounds total, but then one of the eggs was like, Oh my gosh, if this actually works, how weird would that be? And loaded up three bricks instead with a total what? of 102 pounds, which means that we now have a high score of 25.5 pounds. 25 pounds per egg with this design. That is a cool idea. Oh my gosh, I would love to see if that actually works. Here's how you guys make snow for your kids. How to make snow? I mean, can't you just take like ice, freeze it, and grind it up or something? What is this? Baking soda. Oh, that where are we going with it. this one? All right, one fourth cup of conditioner. What? In your bowl. Okay, then go ahead and take your baking soda and you're gonna do one fourth cup six times. What is this? How is this gonna be? I'm, I'm so curious what this is gonna turn into. This becomes snow? What the heck? All right, so once you got your one to six ratio, you're gonna go ahead and mix it all together. What? Your hands and what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to be able to be packable like a snowball. So what? We're creating snow for our kids to play with or for you to play with. We're able to make snowballs or snowmen, things like that. So, so okay. we also figured out you can use cookie cutters with it. Someone said you can freeze it and it's cold like snow. Like this might be kind of legit. Like, I don't know. I've never heard of that one. That's really interesting. Strawberry DNA. We're going to extract some today. Smash what? up some strawberries. Can you extract DNA from things? Don't you have to be like a, have like a, a freaking science set up for that? Mix two teaspoons soap, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of water. Okay. Add the solution to your strawberries and carefully mix. Yo, I need to make a series where I test these to see if they work. Filter. Like, isn't it just going to give you Look ground up piece of strawberry? you have and add an equal amount of rubbing alcohol. Okay. You'll start to see slimy snot-like stuff forming. That's the strawberry DNA. Use what? a popsicle stick to take it out and get a closer look. And no, that's wow. how you extract. Is that really the DNA or like is that something else? I don't know enough about science to know or if not, that's true. I mean, it must be. She's verified, so I'm gonna trust it. Is this jelly? Molten lava on jello. It is, oh, it's just sunk through the side. Whoa. Weirdly, the jello seems to be like holding up pretty well against this. I, I don't know what I expected, but like it's not really melting that fast. That's kind of weird. Ooh, it's boiling. It's like boiling in the melon. It's so weird. It's not, it's not really doing much, is it? Are melons boiling lava aluminum proof? It really seems like it's like actually not doing a lot of damage. It's kind of wild. Milk and food coloring. I think, I, I think I've actually seen this one. You touch it with soap and then it like goes. Yes, sir. Your boy knows it. I did this one as a kid. Boom! Oh my gosh, that is crazy how that works. I love it. Is 
Is she pouring glow stick on the side of a jar? Wait, this might be actually like a great idea. Oh, as a kid, I once bit into one of these and it actually like uh, was the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted in my life. Would not advise biting into these glow bracelets. I thought it was, I thought it would taste good. Didn't. <laughs> oh, what? Someone said a girl with my heart instantly gone. I saw this on TikTok and I wanted to try it. Go ahead and close your sink. Now start drawing images. Now no. I usually just use one color, do a Christmas tree. And this is like, I feel like a good way to destroy your sink, but I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the water. We're gonna do it slowly so it doesn't splatter on your drawings. Cause you're gonna be able to pick and these up. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna lift up what you drew and it's gonna flow on the water. <gasps> look at it lift up. That is so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and look at it spin. Wow, that is really weird. Really, really, really. You could just have like, you could just write something in the sink and like leave it for your friend to see. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. As always, click here to watch another video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.